This is Daniel Gaffone for Eat Sleep Boxing Repeat in Manchester for the final press conference for Joe Joyce versus Joseph Parker. This Saturday night I'm joined by Joe Parker's manager David Higgins all the way from New Zealand. Remember you up there, your fourth time in Manchester, hope it's treating you just as well as the last three times. It's Yeah, it's fourth time here, first time it hasn't rained non-stop. Yeah, I think it actually is raining outside now. There you go, there you go. Um, no, we're, um, it's become like a home fight for us, so we're confident. Yeah, Joe's always, uh, he's, he's like a sort of adopted Brit to an extent. Uh, Manchester have been a happy hunting ground for them as you alluded to up there but huge test in there in the form of Joe Joyce on Saturday night. Yeah absolutely I mean it's heavyweight boxing both have the power to knock the other out luck sometimes comes into play someone gets a lucky punch but if both perform at their best I think Joseph Parker wins the fight he's very well rounded and has a more well rounded skill set than Joyce so you know let's see. You mentioned both capable of knocking each other out uh, Joyce has built up this reputation as having almost this mythical chin and you know he, he walks forward, he takes lots of shots. Do you believe your man is capable of uh, stopping the juggernaut? Of course. I mean, Joseph Parker will rain more punches upon Joyce, um, if, especially if he's stuck in the mud with his feet, that he have ever been rained upon him. Everyone can be stopped and everyone has a mythical chin until they don't. Um, you know, Parker's got a pretty good chin too. So yes, he can, Joseph can knock him out, but you know, it's got to go his way. Um, a lot of people say Joyce is you know, going to come on very strong down the stretch. You've said, oh, in fact, you know, our man's been down the stretch with better opposition. Um, are you confident that it gets to that later stages? That you know, Joe's, I think even Joyce's team would admit Parker's probably got, as you say, the quicker hands, maybe a better natural box now. But are you confident that will hold up down the stretch against you, Joyce? Well, we'll see. Joyce is particularly strong in those later stages, but hasn't been in with quite the quality that Parker has. I mean, going 12 rounds is no stranger to Joseph Parker. So I don't think he'll he'd panic per, per se. It's just about him staying calm and focused and picking his punches. Uh, I know Joe himself won't be, yeah, I keep saying Joe, I think I'll clever, Joseph Parker himself won't be looking past Joe Josh on Saturday night um, as his manager. I know you can't look too far ahead in boxing, it's a crazy game at times, but do you think as if this sort of, he's just turned 30, this next phase of Joe's career on the land of league could be the most fruitful of his career? Of course it could, yep. I mean, he's found his feet, he's enjoying his work, he's learning new things, um, and he looked dynamite in his last fight against Chisora, so it could be a second win, it could be another world title win. Uh, just one more thing, uh, you seem to ruffle up uh, George Warren's feathers up there with a uh, little comment about uh, make sure everyone gets paid. Can you shed any insight? Are there any concerns? Oh, look, all I'd say is if you're making multi-million dollar deals or deals when boxers get paid seven figures, don't sweat the small stuff. And there's just been frustrations out little stuff, per diems and hotel rooms, stuff you shouldn't have to worry about, especially if you're the former world champion coming to Joyce's home country. There should be some respect there, and you shouldn't have to haggle and, you know, worry about that stuff, which it was no skin off our nose, but, um, you know, it's as long as it's a fair fight, you know, the right person wins and everyone gets paid, it's a good night. Uh, you mentioned the, the fair fight and obviously the right uh, person gets wins. Obviously this is a Queensbury show, is there any reservations about if it does go the 12 rounds, you know, what way the judges will see things? Well, we've had some controversies, like the most recent fight Joseph Parker had against Derek Chisora. A British judge had it nearly a draw, even though Parker had knocked Chisora down three times. It was an absolute shocker. Um, and then when Parker fought Anthony Joshua in the UK, the, the referee, referee and selected by the British Boxing Board of Control kept intervening, probably heavy-handedly pulling Joseph off that. whenever he hurt Joshua. Yeah. Then in the Dillian White fight, the referee selected by the British Boxing Board of Control called a headbutt a knockdown. Now mistakes happen, so I'm not, and people, they're human. I've nothing against the officials. I just hope that um, in briefing the officials, you know, they're reminded to, to, to play straight back. Was that part of the motivation for signing with Sky and Boxer as their main heavyweight that you wouldn't have to worry about sort of the pitfalls that away fighters do suffer coming to the UK from time to time? Uh, no, you weigh up everything. Like the reason Joseph Parker signed with Boxer and Sky is a combination of things and it's obviously money, opportunity, the character, the people you're working with, all of that. It's not any one thing. Like we nearly did a deal with Queensbury, we didn't quite get there and then Joseph went with Sky and Boxer. Uh, last one for me, David. If I've got a £10 bet, what should I put it on? 
Parker to win by stoppage, seven or eight. Thanks, Albert. I'll split the money with you. Cheers very much. Cheers. Thanks, man. Top man, David.